This is the second part of Gaming Garbage with Mr. Mike Nelson. How are you doing? I could not be better. I'm uh, Paco-fied. Paco 415-ified. Yeah, I mean, it's almost like we recorded these all at the same time, and I'm pretending it's a different time. What? You know? That was months ago. I don't barely remember it. How can you not barely remember Paco 415? <laughs> Let's uh, jump into another one here. You're ready for this? Yeah, this is, that was an assault um, on the census, but yes. Well, yeah. Okay, if you thought that one was bad, um, let me just turn down the volume on this one. <laughs> Go down to it. We have a uh, Sobre Guerrera Mundial, which, uh, when I was looking at the page, I think was a tribute to the game Call of Duty 2, which was a World War II game, I think. Uh, do you know what your Spanish... Uh, allow you to translate that something of the world is, is that the uh word? guerrera is war war of the world uh, yes yeah, yeah, war of the world okay. uh, based off of hg geiger's uh, famous uh, play mm. you need the engine again this is what oh yeah medal of honor tribute sorry yeah. not not call of duty and here we are uh our parachutes a little oh um, yeah I, questionable i guess i don't i think you're hitting terminal velocity you you're gonna die right off the bat oh shoot i am no 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 no. i'm good okay uh the controls kind of limited but that's okay it doesn't seem like anybody's firing in the, <laughs> look at my 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 parachute, parachute took a while to uh drop down um, uh, just stay out of the way of the pre-sighted machine guns who keep shooting, but not at you. It looks. I'm like. trying to avoid the sugar cube. Oh yeah, the. Re Wait. Did the minotaur? Is that the same sound? Uh, was that the same sound as the minotaur? Oh my god. Uh, I didn't go to basic training, Mike. Um, so. Yeah, you're my... shooting. Try to shoot at the. There we go. Oh, nice. Uh, <laughs> Okay, uh, can I pick this up? Oh, oh, oh! Well, I tried to. You're kind and of floating there too. Don't criticize me, Mike. I'm doing as good as I can. No, okay? you are. Please go get the sugar cube and let's see what happens. Okay, you're you're always uh, you're always just you just want to throw yourself into the line of combat. It's this could be dangerous. This we is, know nothing of the sugar cube. It's obvious that's what you do when you uh, enter a war zone. Is you go right to the pulsating sugar cube. That's okay. what the Marines are taught. All right. Oh, well, the, Sugar Cube is apparently uh, doing nothing. <laughs> I think it went off the ground higher just to spite me. Stupid Sugar Cube. It thinks it's better than the rest of us in war. I'm really good at war, Mike. You are. I can beat the Sugar Cube. You're the king of gear. Come on. Okay, the Sugar Cube does nothing. No. All right. Okay. Move on. Just like in a, re and this is again realistic because just like in a real war, a sugar cube would do nothing to help you. Can I man this machine gun? No, that that would make so too much sense. So we're already we're sensing a theme with Paco, what four fifteen? Four one four fifteen, yeah. Paco four fifteen likes a constant annoying sound in your ears, and this time it's a siren instead of the screaming uh, damsel or whatever that thing was. Yeah, well, but to be honest, also, he likes gameplay that is incomprehensible and terrible in every way, too. I mean, you left that out. Now look, you're only in the very in opening stages of this, so don't be too harsh. That's true. Uh, why? Okay, my gun bounces, first of all. You see it ricocheting? Oh, I do, yeah. And it makes a cashier sound. It makes the sound of a cash register, if you listen closely. Oh, it does. Yeah, oh, ding, yeah. ding. One of those old time, the NC, the original uh, NCR cash registers, the metal ones. Yeah, yeah, kind yeah. Of a nice ringing um, sound. Very satisfying. Okay, now to kill this man. Man? I, I, I'm you, trying you're to You're telling that that's a man? To kill this object. <laughs> Thank you. Um, <laughs> oh, aiming, is a, aiming is a uh, real crapshoot here, so to speak. It look, um, looks like you uh, have about a 60 degree change every time you. <laughs> turn your gun <laughs> I'm, I'm hitting an invisible wall here so just like in war you'll see some <laughs> in the middle of world war ii you know our all our bravest soldiers on the front lines were just doing this here maybe this can help you out why don't you you keep trying it and i'll do this
I love it. Thank you. Yeah, is that helping? Yeah, yeah, no. It, it uh, just made me want to kill myself a little bit more, but that, that did help in a way. Uh, I'm not having... Oh, oh, okay. I got an ah uh, guy. All right. Are these our comrades or should we... Oh, that's uh, a good take... point. I guess we should have checked. <laughs> well, if they die, then... No, they don't... Wait, I, but I don't know if I'm actually hitting them, so... Okay, let's see if we get into their line of fire. Okay, yeah. Uh, no, wait. They're shooting above us. I forgot. They're aiming at uh, the hills. Oh, well, maybe they're bringing down other parachuters who you can't see. Yeah, the invisible parachuters were the greatest menace of World War II, I believe. Yep, there was the uh, there was the code talkers and the invisible parachutists, secret heroes. <laughs> and that's why we have Veterans Day. Oh no! Um, uh oh. I'm stuck in a crouch in a squat, sliding position. Squat slide. Oh oh wait, I'm unstuck. That's in a basic training. Do your squat slide. Okay. Oh. Oh no! Uh, oh no! <laughs> well, oh! I just changed the rotation of the galaxy. Uh, oh! Wait, are this is fun. Just like in World War II, you can change how the galaxy rotates. Are we one with the universe now? Is that what this is implying? We did win. I'll, I'll give you that much. And we are in the universe. <laughs> and so every time we shoot our gun. We can rotate with uh, some spastic polygons in the uh, dimension of our choice. Are you, now, what are you influencing here? Are you making the polygons appear? I, I'm a big influencer, Mike. I, 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 I knew I'm, that. I but yeah. influence the hell polygon out of Polygon sales are already up since you yeah. started doing this. And this game is down because we beat World War II. That was uh, really good. My favorite part was the war part. Uh, well, let's Europe do one is, more because Europe is free again. Good job. <laughs> the game was free, and now Europe is free. We <laughs> won twice. Uh, I'm gonna do just one more of these. I'll let you choose. Okay. Since I just that way I can blame it on you. I don't know the the uh, format, but do you do you want a rating at the end, or should we compare and contrast now, and then guess on the next one? How how do you compare the two? Which is I give the first one a, a six, and this one. I give an eight. Wow. Well, I, I am. I, I'm sorry. The first one had an incredible narrative to me. It uh, the protagonist, the antagonist, and the uh, princess were all just well-defined. Well, it well is true. You had a strong sense right away in the the square in the upper right corner of the screen that you were going to. You, yep. The the antagonist is right there, right in your face. Yep. Yep. You you knew what was going on. And so that one, you know, and I could accomplish goals like by slowly kicking croutons into the crouton hole. It's true. Um, so I'm going to have to go with uh, giving the Minotaur one a strong 8.1. And with the war one, I just feel it wasn't fleshed out. Or World War II one, it wasn't fleshed out. Well, here's uh, here's why the, I, I agree with every point you make. But let me just add this. This is my... Ah! So. Well, when you put it that way, actually, I do agree with okay, you. Okay, thank you. All right. Thanks. Okay, so pick one so I can blame it on you when it's bad. Uh, I have to... If you can see that. I have to embiggen in the screen. Let me see. Robo... Robotror? What is that? El Robotror. Yeah, okay. Ro Robotoror. Robotoror. <laughs> that's, that's why I couldn't uh -huh. read. Well, that sounds intriguing. Also, part of you doesn't want to. <laughs> <laughs> right. Uh, yeah, let's do that one. Okay, you just picked the first one, didn't you? No, it's the, it, it actually was maybe the block letters were easier to read. My screen is very tiny. Well, we all have our personal issues. All right, okay, bring them into the all screen. right. Is this the... All right, wow, I think you picked well. Yes, is this the uh, I... unit, famous Unity engine I've heard so much about? Oh shit! What kind um, of an ass is Mike, going? Mike, what are we doing? <laughs> what is happening? Mike, what is this? Why do you have a capsule ass? That's not what my biggest issue here is. <laughs> um, Wait, you have other issues? Are we making babies with the gun? I don't know. It seems to be pumping out something like eggs. Oh, it is. It's like if you get intimate with a gun, you can produce eggs. And are they? Are your eggs sparking as they... Oh! Uh, they're affecting the cube in front of us. Oh. 
We're having effects on real world. Oh my gosh, we're having effects on real life and world situations here. Wait, wait. I need some clarity. Are you... Is Why that your method of movement? Is like you're scraping that thing into the ground and moving? No. That was that's how you shoot, Mike, in the future. Oh. See, I've got two things I'm shooting. Uh one is eggs, and the other one seems to be um a white stream. Uh I'm not going to go into that in detail, obviously. But uh and we're if we walk we oh gosh. We approach uh the War torn city of Eggtopia. <laughs> Once again, it wasn't enough that that music is like driving me insane. It's the constant explosions are really calming my nerves. Well, I, I think that there uh, I, there used to be like 800 spaceships, and now there appears to be two. So I think whatever team we're on, it, I, I, I don't think we're on team spaceship. Uh, I'll put it that way. And I think spaceships are losing. Let's are, see if I can. Are you uh, Robotror? Are we Ro What's? Yeah. Or are we defeating Robotror? Yes, Mike. All of those okay. things are correct. Are you uh, humanoid was... or full robot? Mm-hmm. Okay. <laughs> yep. Okay. We got uh, assets that were taken from other games and put in here, as you can tell. Mm -hmm. If you see anything that looks even remotely competent looking, uh, Paco 415 did not create it. Do you think 414 gave it to him? <laughs> the previous Pacos all formed together like a Voltron yeah. to create the ultimate Paco 415. Right. I, I feel like, uh, nah, he just stole it. How's that? Okay, so how's that noise working in your? Oh. Oh. What happened? Oh. oh. There was a temporary reprieve. Wait, that's your footsteps. Oh, you're right. <laughs> I thought it was the cannons. <laughs> Oh my god. Well, that's one mystery solved. Please stop walking. <laughs> <laughs> okay, well, if I crouch to shoot. Oh, then it's much okay. quieter. Oh, I like that. Yeah, yeah okay, yeah. so all, all I gotta do is hump my gun. Yeah. Here's my question, though. Uh, if I cross this, will it be friendly fire? Because this is the cannon that kind of shoots a projectile that just goes along the ground yeah what is your how far is it going that's very difficult to tell like what well let me just uh, stop my way over there <laughs> oh you can also shoot when you're walking but it, you don't have to hump the gun it looks like it goes out a yard or two I'm, am i there's two different ones the there, there's the uh oh i see no wait those aren't eggs those are shells oh so the stream is where the shot is going and the shells are just falling on the ground i got it. oh i can run oh this changes everything shadow okay world. the gun and here yeah this is the extent oh what happened uh freeze up don't touch don't 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 touch the gun i guess paco oh no <laughs> <laughs> Game over. oh gosh <laughs> you uh, you deserve to die for doing that whatever you did because you drove me into it your curiosity drove me to ruin well it, it looked like there was so much to explore before we even started the gameplay i wanted to visit eggtopia mike you knew that I, <laughs> you knew that you're going to be in your grave thinking Paco 415. I've already signed up so many of my friends. It's it's like we call ourselves the Paco 415ers. <laughs> yeah. It, it's a really bad name. It's, no, it sounds like a good uh, L.A. Latino street gang name. That's what I am. I'm part of. Did you not know that I was the head of one? I saw you flashing signals, but I thought you had some muscular issue. <laughs> It's a combination. I assume that when I see you. <laughs> There's always an issue.